Biscuit. See you in Steamboat. There it is, there it is, there's the mountain. You can't quite see it out our window, but we're running up that mountain in the morning. I was gonna go jog. What is that noise? It's like a foghorn going off. All right, I was, uh, I was gonna go jog, but my legs feel great. And so I was just gonna do like a mile just to shake out, but it's hot, it's windy. I just, I need to get off my feet and just rest and just chill because the, my legs feel good. I was gonna do the one mile jog to shake out the car ride. It was a three hour car ride, so not that bad, but I just walked around for like 10 minutes to pick up my packet and I don't need to. I don't need to pick up, I don't need to do the one mile jog. So uh, we're just gonna chill until the uh, meeting tonight with all the racers. Whew, got the packet, got the packet. Just working on my last drop bag for the race. It's gonna go to Summit Lake Aid Station, which is gonna be about mile, well, it's mile 30 and also mile 80 of the race. And what is a drop bag? Basically, for all your nighttime gear, uh, by the time I get to mile 80, you know, it's gonna be sweaty. You're gonna, you potentially could get very, very cold if you don't change your clothes because you're so sweaty. So, anyway, this is the drop bag I'm working on. Bye, y'all. almost just made a rookie mistake in my first 100 miler. I am not going to pin my bib number, I'm number 27, just so you know, on my shirt because I'm gonna be changing my shirt probably three times in the race. I don't even know how many times. So obviously gotta put the, uh, the bib number on my rump basically on the side of my leg because I'm not gonna be changing my shorts my my I'm wearing half tights I decided to go with half tights to prevent chafing you know what I mean so anyway almost thought that one through that's a good it's a good first step don't don't tip of the day don't pin your bib number on your shirt because then at every aid station that you change your shirt you have to change the, you have to take the bib number off no 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 on my wife if you're an ultra runner out there you know if you have a spouse and you have kids like the spouse is doing the hard work out there at the pool managing three boys little monkeys out there and uh, I get to sit in here in the air conditioning and just rest my legs so blessings and good tidings to the spouses of ultra runners out there just saying just saying sleeping in a different room. I'm sleeping with my mom so that I get a good night's sleep before the 100 mile race. Love you. Ciao. Oh. oh, it's hard to leave the family, but I gotta sleep tonight. So you never know with three monkeys jumping on the bed. All right. Oh, I'm so full. Spaghetti was amazing. So full. 
All right, folks, in about 12 hours, no, 24 hours, I'm gonna be running through this. And in fact, I'm actually just gonna close the vlog out right now because I gotta go just finalize my, my pack one more time and then I need to go to bed. Um, so I love you. Thank you for all the support on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. We love you. You're amazing. Keep the comments coming. And I will see you at the finish line. I will see you at the finish line. We don't know what's going to happen. It's going to hurt. I know that. But I will see you at the finish line. All right? You got me? You're picking up what I'm putting down? <sighs> Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow.